Alrighty, y'all, welcome back. And in this video, we are gonna be setting up a domain name for our front end because remember in the last, well, not the last video, but a few tutorials ago, what we did is we deployed our front end and we pretty much saw how to host the website from S3 and set up our uh, CDN as well. However, with that, we just got this long honking tonking cloud front uh, kind of default domain name. And in this video, like I said, we're gonna be figuring out how to use our own domain name so the users don't get carpal tunnel trying to type this thing in each time. So anyways, go ahead and head over to the cloud front distribution that you set up and you can just go ahead and click into it. And on just the general tab, you're gonna see this little section right here, which is your domain name. And just go ahead and click this icon to copy that. And from here, we're gonna head over to Route 53. And hopefully you already got a, um, you already like bought a domain name. And uh, of course you're gonna need a domain name to actually set it up. I am gonna be using this one right here, Vitaxia.io. Now, what you are probably gonna see, let me minimize that, is you may have an A record already. So if you don't, you're just gonna need to create one. But if you do, go ahead and select that. And we're going to edit it right here. Now, typically, these A records, uh, they point to an IP. And this could either be an EC2 instance or an Elastic IP. But what we are gonna wanna do is kind of change this default configuration where instead of this, we are gonna use an alias. And what we wanna do is we want to, I'll show you this, route traffic to, and for the endpoint, we wanna choose an alias to a CloudFront distribution. And then for the distribution, we're just gonna go ahead and paste in what we have. Now, another thing that I wanna note is that, remember when I said click that copy icon? and we're gonna use that value right here. Whenever you copy this, it included this HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash, but whenever you paste it in here, make sure not to include that part. So it's pretty much gonna be that value that you copied without that. And then once that is all good to go, just go ahead and hit save. So now your A record should look like this. So Vitaxia.io pointing to our CloudFront distribution without that HTTPS. So now this is all good to go for the time being. Now hop back into that CloudFront distribution. And then from here, go ahead and click edit. And what we want to do is look for this section, alternate domain name, CNAME. And we pretty much just need to link it up to the um, domain name that we got. So that is Vitaxia dot io now what we also need to do is we're gonna need to um, set up a certificate so we can serve our site over https so from here i'm gonna go ahead and hit request certificate and then yes it is a public certificate go ahead and hit the next and for this fully qualified domain name vataxia.io and for this validation method, make sure that you choose DNS validation. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up. Pretty much AWS has built-in tools to take care of all of this, it's gonna be a piece of cake. And all of this is good by default. You can just go ahead and hit request right here. And now, let me close out all these prompts, taking up like half my screen here. All right, so in a little bit, you can see, you may have to refresh it as well, but you should see that this is set up pending validation. And what this pending validation means is that yes, you requested a certificate, but we aren't sure that you actually own that domain name yet. Now, in order to um, kind of prove that we do, we need to set up something with our DNS configuration. However, like I said, AWS is gonna take care of this. So let me show you how to do it right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click into this and then what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna hit create records in route 53. And actually, let me show you kind of what's going on behind the scenes. So in a new tab, again, I didn't close out of this one, but I wanna show you in route 53, if I go back into vataxia.io, you see that I have three records right here, in A, in NS, in, in SOA. Well, whenever 
I hit this button right here, which is create record in route 53. I just need to verify this, hit create record. Then what it's gonna do, and I probably have to refresh this, is you see we now have a new record right here. And this is pretty much um, kind of to this like certificate management process, how we can prove that we own this domain name. And it pretty much does this by saying, that if I was able to create this record and modify this domain name in this kind of way, then of course it acts as proof because you know I have access to this domain name. So anyways, that's kind of the process behind the scenes. I don't know, I just thought it was uh, cool to let you know that. But anyways, that's really all we have to do for this. And just to make sure this is all good, I want to refresh this. And all right, so I paused the video and came back because it did take like a minute and I, I don't know, <laughs> just didn't think it was uh, very entertaining just to watch me refresh this for another minute. But eventually after like uh, 30 seconds or a minute, go ahead and keep refreshing and eventually you're going to see that it is now issued, which means that yes, it was uh, verified, you own the domain name, you're good to go. And now once you see the screen check mark, head back into your CloudFront distribution settings. And here, where we just came from, uh, under this custom SSL certificate option, we can just go ahead and refresh this list by clicking this button. And now you should see your certificate right here. So this is my new one that we just set up. And all of these defaults are good to go. Just go ahead and hit save changes now. And then, we also need to wait probably a minute or so for this to deploy. However, at the end of that, all right, so that actually only took like 20 seconds or so, but we can now see if we go to vitaxia.io, it now is pretty much pointing to our CloudFront distribution. And also you can see by this little uh, lock icon and this HTTPS, it is now served over SSL and yeah everything is uh good to go so that ladies and gentlemen is how you set up your domain name to point to your cloud front distribution set up your domain name for your front end and yeah so uh thanks for watching and i'll see you next time